Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One. Good vibrations. The date, 21 June 2014. First day of summer, I guess. You would know it here too in the Black Hills with all the storms we got going on to our south. 2256 UTC, which translates into 456 PM Mountain Daylight Time. W1AW slash KL7 in Alaska is on 18.079 megahertz. Asking for calls 2 kilohertz up. Well, actually, I had called him 2 kilohertz up, or a little over 2 kilohertz, about 2.1 kilohertz up, I guess. There's your Delta Transmit adjust on this ICOM IC746, a very very good feature to have for situations like this. I called him up about here and on the second attempt, the second attempt with 10 watts RF output into a into a, about a 3 8 wave vertical antenna fed force fed with a 5 to 1 standing wave ratio and coaxial cable, I managed to nail that station on the second attempt. Go figure particularly in light of the fact that there's quite a pileup on them. Here is uh, where the people are calling them, about 2 kilohertz up. I guess maybe the pileup has thinned out some. I would think I would, uh, I would really hear a lot of stations here now. Well, nevertheless, Oh, just a while ago, I heard a considerable pileup. Here it is. Hear that? That's two uh, kilohertz up. These stations are all calling W1AW slash KL7 with probably with bigger antennas and a lot more power than I have. But I just dropped my call. Da 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 da. I got that call sign, W1GV. Here's what it sounds like. I don't have the thing in transmit mode, so it's not going to go over the air. That's exactly what I dropped into this pileup. And on the second attempt, I nailed him. Stangibalisco, W1GV Whiskey 1. Golf Victor from the Black Hills of South Dakota, United States of America, signing off saying 73 for now and so long.